The taco scene in New York City has grown stronger since Los Tacos No. 1 opened in Chelsea Market, but the restaurant, which now has many locations throughout the city, remains a top contender. The Atabata has kept lines forming for years, but the restaurant also has a Morisco's place in the food hall and breakfast tacos in the mornings. An aerial shot of tacos, chips, guacamole, and plastic salsa sides. Los Tacos No. 1 is on a roll with Atabata. Gary He, New York Eater. A gloved hand inserts a small amount of cooked meat onto a tortilla using tongs. 30 essential Mexican restaurants in New York City. Fold three tortillas over the shredded chicken. 30 excellent tacos to try in New York. Mama Chama. For the last decade, the gastronomy of Georgia, a former Soviet country, has taken off in New York City, fueled by our love of kachapuri, a bread with a handle that surrounds a lake of cheese. Chama Mama serves freshly baked bread in a variety of flavors, as well as charcoal kebabs, stews in which herbs serve as veggies, and a sophisticated wine list that includes some varietals you've definitely never had before. Sema. This restaurant, arguably one of the most unusual in New York City, is from the same team that brought you Damaka on the Lower East Side and Masalawala and Sons in Park Slope. The restaurant specializes in South Indian cuisine and, like Damaka, has a limited reservation meal, in this case, a huge crab, available each night, replete with bibs. Even if you can't get it, there's so much to try here, from the snails to its twist on the gunpowder dosa. Lobster Tail in Coconut Sauce Eater NY, Robert Sitsima. Two vibrant Indian tacos fashioned from thick naan bread. Restaurants in the West Village. Via Kuroda, Rita Sodi and Jody Williams own numerous prominent restaurants in the West Village, including Bavet, I Sodi, and Bar Pisellino. Via Carota is a crowd favorite for a reason. Its simple Italian dishes are prepared to perfection. Previously known as a walk-in only establishment, the restaurant now has some tables available for reservations. New York Doses Thiru Kumar has been serving some of the best doses in New York from this Washington Square Park food cart for nearly two decades. His doses, crepe-like delicacies made of fermented rice and lentils, are especially fluffy when compared to some of the city's crisper options, and it's practically impossible to go wrong on the limited menu. The Panda Cherry Special, loaded with spicy potatoes and fresh vegetables, is a certain winner, but the pancake-style utapams and epanada-like samosas are also delicious. The B&H Dairy. This kosher lunch counter, which has been open since 1938, is a must-try in New York. B&H Dairy offers tuna melts, pierogies, borscht, and carrot cake at surprisingly low prices for the changing neighborhood, check for the daily combo plate bargains. The restaurant is narrow, and guests, many of whom have been visiting for decades, frequently smush next to each other to sample New York history and listen to stories from the cast of individuals that comprise the staff. On a white dish, a tuna melt is served with pickles on the side. B&H Dairy offers a tuna melt that will change your life. Eater NY, Luke Fortney. Raku. Order a beautiful bowl of udon and tea for about $40, including tax and tip, at Cloud9 Hospitality Group's neighborhood Japanese noodle restaurant with a second location in Soho. Since 2016, chef Norihiro Ishizuka's restaurant has served veggies and gyoza, donburi, and hot and cold udon in a soothingly minimalist environment that is set to grow next door. Ho Foods, Inc. Richard Ho's tiny Taiwanese eatery serves one of the best beef noodle soups in town, as well as a filling Lu Ru fan, radish cakes, and garlic cucumbers on the side. Weekend brunch includes house-made soy milk, fan tuan, sticky rice wrapped around a cruller with pork and pickles, and a scallion pancake with egg. The restaurant is small, but the cuisine is delicious. Balthazar Balthazar, restaurateur Keith McNally's French Brasserie, opened in 1997 signaling a transition in what had previously been an industrial, art-filled downtown Manhattan, as well as a movement in how and what New Yorkers desired to eat. Mainstays such as raw bar seafood towers, French onion soup, steak frites, and profiteroles remain on the menu today. With McNally's continuous Instagram commentary, his insistence on treating single diners as VIPs with a glass of champagne, and people watching like few locations in New York, it is as relevant as ever. Delicatessen Katzis. Since 1888, Katzis has been on the corner of East Houston and Ludlow Streets, and the pastrami alone is a New York institution. The large, cafeteria-style dining room is usually busy, 
and guests must know how to use the system. Get in line, remember to tip the slicer, they might give you an extra piece to gnaw on, and don't lose that ticket under any circumstances. A hot dog in a bun with mustard and a tall glass of beef. 27 Snappy, Standout Hot Dogs in New York. Salmon juts out of a sliced-in-half bagel sandwich served on a white ceramic platter. A Russ and Daughters sign hangs in the backdrop. 23 Iconic New York Dishes to Try. A Neapolitan Pizza. Expect to wait in line at this popular pizza establishment. Anthony Mangieri is noted for his almost militaristic approach to Neapolitan pizza preparation as well as a simple menu of well-executed classics. Mangieri's Una tied for first place as the greatest pizzeria in the world last summer, according to the organization 50 Top Pizza. Thai Restaurant The former Uncle Boone's team's Thai American restaurant serves up inventive fare in an equally funkily furnished dining space. Since it initially debuted in early 2020, dishes like the cabbage roll tom ka, the cow soy, and the morning sandwich built with roti have kept the lines long. There are vegetarian equivalents for many dishes. And the ice cream sundaes here have adorable little sentient faces. Café Russ and Daughters. This Lower East Side landmark, the appetizing store's full-service brother, reopened last year after being closed due to the epidemic. Platters of smoked salmon, egg cream, and matzo ball soup are available in the modern luncheonette setting. A hand is depicted dipping crisp pita into a dish of butternut squash lentil stew, with a bowl of fuchsia-colored beets, green pickles, and yellow cauliflower in the foreground. Buddha Bodai's Original Kosher Vegetarian Restaurant While veganism is frequently portrayed as a passing fad, faux meat has existed in China for centuries. Buddha Bodai, which has been open since 2004, delivers the dim sum that Chinatown is known for from a kitchen that is accommodating to guests with a variety of dietary concerns. In addition to being meat-free, it is also kosher. Three eggs drowned in a thick yellow sauce, with sliced avocado and hashed potatoes on the side. Missy Missy is the follow-up to Lilia by chef Missy Robbins. But just because it's easier to get into than its sibling doesn't make it any less of a pasta kingdom. In fact, we enjoy the more laid-back vibe at this restaurant, which is just steps from Domino Park. The luscious ricotta toast is the calling card here, and you can't go wrong with your pasta option. Don't overlook the luscious gelato desserts. The Legend of the Four Horsemen When LCD Sound Systems' James Murphy founded the Four Horsemen in 2015, the wave of natural wine bar openings was just around the bend. Almost a decade later, the always full bar and dining area remain a popular hangout for wine lovers, seniors, francophiles, and restaurant goers. It's rare for a wine bar to hit home runs with both its drink and food menus, but with its knowledgeable servers and Michelin-worthy small dishes, this Williamsburg staple does just that. Plates are tiny, and costs are reasonable for a happy evening out. Pizzeria Lindustri Lindustri, which opened in 2017, was previously one of Brooklyn's best-kept secrets, a top-tier slice shop where you could walk in and get a pie or a cup of gelato with olive oil and salt without having to wait in line. Massimo Laveglia's naturally leavened slice store has since expanded significantly, adding an indoor counter space as well as a large outdoor setup. Customers are now snaking out the door at all hours of the day, but it's still worth getting in line. Slices are served on greasy paper plates with crisp, naturally leavened crusts and plenty of excellent toppings like burrata and pepperoni. Department of Culture Department of Culture is a Nigerian restaurant unlike any other in New York City, concentrating on Quera cuisine and making Eater's list of the finest restaurants in America for 2022. While the roughly $100 prefix menu places it in the high dining category, the restaurant has built a reputation for being relaxed. Department of Culture is part of a growing trend of dinner party style restaurants that encourage communal eating with strangers, but it also stands out with unforgettable stories from owner Ao Balogun that accompany each meal. Ugly Child Ugly Baby is best known for being Brooklyn's spiciest Thai restaurant. When it first opened in Carroll Gardens in 2017, it was an instant hit, and its popularity hasn't waned. The restaurant takes a unique, for this neighborhood, no-holds-barred approach to Thai food. There are just a few non-spicy things on the menu, and numerous dishes, such as the iconic, stay away, duck salad, are listed alongside flying saucer and airplane emojis. These symbols can imply a variety of things in prose, but on this menu, the message is clear. Order this, and you'll be sweating from your eyes. 
The large craft beer menu provides some solace. Local barbecue. Looking for the best New York City barbecue? It's Red Hook's hometown barbecue. The beef pastrami is pink rimmed and heaped high, and the brisket is unrivaled in the five boroughs. Ask for it to be fatty. The menu favors Texas-style cooking, but don't discount some of the non-Texas offerings, such as Vietnamese hot wings, jerk rib tips, and Oaxacan chicken. They're among the best dishes on the menu, which is one of the reasons there's always a wait. I it. This Palestinian restaurant, which launched in October 2020, has grown into an empire, with sister branches planned throughout the city. Bring a friend to enjoy meals like the mansaf, a fermented yogurt and lamb dish, as well as meza plates heaped with baba ganoush and other dipping items. Mr. Chong gets a halal duck. Excellent halal restaurants in New York. The interior of a New York City outdoor dining structure, a row of wooden tables is set up for service, with old posters adorning the walls. Joe's on Avenue U. Joe's is a traditional Sicilian restaurant in Gravesend, a sinister-sounding Brooklyn neighborhood. The menu emphasizes island-centric cuisine, with tons of garlic-laced veggies, uni-dressed pasta, tripe stew, and seafood galore. Take a look at the mural of Sicilian peasants from a century ago. Subscribe to Bon Appetite on YouTube and watch US on YouTube.